السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو حسیب الیکٹرانکس فرینڈس آئی ہیو کوشچن فرام ون آف مائی ویور ہی آسک می واٹ از ڈیوٹی سائیکل ہاؤ وی کین چیک اٹ آئی ماڈیفائڈ دس پاور سپلائی ایٹی ایکس پاور سپلائی آئی چینج ان ٹو ٹیک ویریبل وولٹیج اینڈ اف وی سی I am changing the duty cycle of the pulse. If you see on the oscilloscope, what is going on? We are changing the switching time of pulse width modulator. This time we have minimum switching in this portion. So we are taking 12 volt. When we increase the switching time of the power transistor which allows the transformer to switch for a long time that time we will take increased voltage we can see the switching time is increasing when I am rotating the knob actually what is going on I am ch changing the duty cycle of the pulse width so I controlled I modified this ATX to change the duty cycle when we change the duty cycle our power supply increases or decreases in the voltage in the output let's see what is duty cycle I have this pulse this is one cycle and other pulse on time off time from one end to this end one rising edge to the next rising edge this is rising edge this is falling edge rising edge falling edge from one rising to second rising or from one falling to second file falling it is our one cycle what is the ratio between the two signals in digital pulse what is the on time vs off time we can say if this cycle is two second time period from here to here it is two second time is two second and in this two second we have one second on one second off the next circuit will one second remain on and one cycle one second will remain off so we will say it is its efficiency it is working time its duty cycle is 50% If we have a generator, if we have a circuit, the other circuit I will draw here, the time period is same and it remains on for half second but one and half second from this end to this end. Total time is two second but here it is working half second one and half second off so that time its efficiency its duty cycle will be 25% in the next stage is starting from here and it will remain on until here then it will go off then on then it will remain on for this period and then it will off then on okay mm, here it is off so if we see the pulses here if we compare this cycle to this cycle from this end to this end it is 20 25% on 75% off so we can say duty cycle is 
25 percent this cycle this circuit 75 percent we can say one and half second will on half second will off so from two second one and half second is on we can say its working time is the on time duty cycle on time vs off time here is 50 percent same on same off 50 percent so in PWM controller technology pulse width modulation controller this is the basic of PWM control the IC actually what is doing here it is controlling the voltage passing through the transformer how it works we apply this signal to a transistor so we apply these pulses here the PWM controller allows to turn on this transistor it is switching time of this transistor for how much time it allows to turn on this time if any transistor is working at this time its efficiency its due cycle is 50 percent if any circuit is working in this region that time the duty cycle is 25 percent if any circuit is working here that means that will fit modulation is at 75 percent and how we can check we can check using oscilloscope we can monitor the PWM output and we can check how much is the on vs off time we can calculate it the digital oscilloscope also shows what is the duty cycle we will monitor it now actually this duty cycle is used to regulate the voltage we have a feedback circuit that feedback loop goes to PWM controller PWM controller makes these settings if this voltage are going high then the PWM controller will reduce the pulse width will reduce the duty cycle when duty cycle will be reduced the switching time will decrease so the magnetic field will reduce so induction will reduce and voltage will regulate it if due to any cause the voltage in the output area drop what will happen it will give a feedback to the controller and it will increase the duty cycle it will increase the pulse width when pulse width will increase the switching time of this transistor will increase so the magnetic field will start building more more and more and that will cause to in increase the voltage and when the required level will obtained the feedback command will instruct the PWM controller to stay stabilized at the same point so we are taking 37.2 kilohertz at one one line and 37 at the second line this time this cycle is working at full PWM full pulse width modulation so here we can see the pulse width what is the right time and pulse width is 23.6 so this time I am increasing the pulse width this time 15 microsecond pulse So this is pulse width from here to here. From here to here. Because it is inverted signal. So now we can check. We can align it from here. So this 32 microsecond is on. 32 microsecond is on. 
and three point two second, three point two microsecond of thirty two VS three point two. That is about ten percent. Here is pulse width is ten percent. So we are moving from ten percent to fifty percent because at fifty percent is the second cycle. So this is dual channel. So its maximum efficiency, maximum pulse width will fifty percent. Fifty percent for one channel, fifty percent for two channel because this IC is dual channel. So if this video is good for you, like, subscribe, and share. If you want to watch my future videos, press bell icon button. If you want, if you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.